Good evening, one and all. How's everyone doing this evening? It has been a hot minute since we've played Sprocket, hasn't it? So, as you guys may or may not know, or I mean, you definitely know because you're on the stream, which means you're on the Discord, we are, we've revived Sprocket competitions, right? We're gonna participate. I think it would be fun for me to give my own take on this design. Whoa, this is a crazy texture pack. Can't even tell what the grass block is. Yeah, so this is the new Minecraft update. They added vehicles. I already made a concept design for a uh, for this for the competition but i want to build a new one because i'm not happy with this one that, that's what tonight's all about i don't know i'm just not happy with it i just i don't like the design like i fundamentally don't like the shape of it it performs quite well i don't think it would perform any better than like other some other designs like i feel like there are other people who have submitted vehicles that will perform a lot better than this one so i don't think i'll win and i'm not going to try to win like i'm, I'm not going to min max this and like really try to win the game or the competition i just would like to throw my hat in the ring and have a fun stream with you guys here tonight all right so we need to build we're, we're gonna build this we're gonna build this tank all right chat let's take a look at the specifications okay firstly again is that it has to be a casemate so we can't do a turret which is fine must weigh under 25 tons and has to be early war. Forgot about that. Must be able to withstand 80 millimeters of penetration penetration frontally at 100 meters. I don't really know how to test that, so we're just going to give it like 80, mil 80 millimeters of frontal armor. Must be able to penetrate 75 millimeters of steel at an angle of 90. Must be casemate. Must have a riveted surface. Yeah, that's really it. It just has to be a casemate design under 25 tons. Should I go and take a shower right now and then return or stay and shower after the stream? It's 4 a.m. Yeah, you should definitely not shower. So if this is going to be a casemate, do we want it to be big? Like, do we want it to be fat? Do we want it smaller? Because it's, it's supposed to be a light tank. Like, let's let's think of, like, casemate light tanks of the early war. They're not many. A lot of them a lot of them are all built on, like, the Vickers. A lot of them are all, like, T26 core. Flat front plate casemate, because that's always looks funny. Ooh, what if we did, like, a King Tiger, or the uh, Yag Tiger type thing? You know, like, something like that. All right, there, there is the weight restriction, but there's no size restriction. So as long as it's under 25 tons, like we could just make a, we could just make a Yag Tiger, <laughs> and then it has it has zero armor anywhere except for the front. So like yeah, it's able to withstand 80 millimeters of pen from the front, but it's like five mil thick on on every other surface. Make open top. I don't know how to. I don't even know how to do that. Or well, okay, I do know that you you delete this. So would we just design a vehicle and then just do that? <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. What if we did like an SU-76 or like a like a martyr type thing, right? That's just a Nash horn. Yeah, no, like exactly. That. Like that's what I'm saying though. I think a big part of a tank's silhouette is its suspension, and I think if we get creative with the suspension, we can really we can really start to build this thing out. If we can make it shorter. You, you, do you kind of get the vision? I, do you kind of get what I'm seeing in my head? Like, am I am I relaying the message correctly? Am I getting through your thick fucking skull, you idiots? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, you know. You know, like, like, you know, like, yeah. I would like to mention creativity points exist. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I like Pizza Hut. This is a creativity breeding zone. All of us in chat are getting together and we're breeding with creativity. There's creativity just splattering all over the walls on this stream, okay? Tonight's for the boys. And we're splattering our creativity all over each other. So you're making SU-76? It's, it's gonna have SU-76 vibes. But what if it had more of like a hull... Of something like a t26 what does a t26 look like i always fucking forget <laughs> most of these tanks have like some flat plate on the front here yeah most of them are classified by something like this that's not bad and then we can have like the driver's hatch that sticks out forward kind of like a 70p t26 maybe what do you think of my idea of a small tank but a 1000 millimeter gun i think the pentagon should hire you and we can get creative with this too right we can make this shape we can get this more like zsu oh yeah we can make this very zsu Oh, well, yeah, SU-76 is built on the T-70, so of course. Oh, yeah, we can get really creative with this. Ooh, SU-76 has some interesting design notes. And then bow it out. Yeah, that looks good. You guys want to make a whirlwind? <laughs> Don't tell me I'm the only one. For the past half a year, 99% of my dreams were about tanks. Am I mentally ill? No, you're pretty normal. Google SU-26. SU-26. SU-26, that's a plane, my guy. SU-26 tank. I'm really gonna take your word for this. Oh, this is a real thing. Oh, I see. It's just a gun shield and a howitzer plonked onto a T-26 chassis, which is actually kind of badass. And genuinely, you know, this might be exactly what we want. Do we want the engine to be in the front? What if we What if we still made it like a rear-mounted engine? Ooh, this is actually really interesting. Ooh, I like this idea a lot. Okay, mister, you got my attention. Ooh, 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 my brain is... Oh, the juices are flowing. Oh, the juices are flowing. The juices are flowing right now. I'm juiced up, chat. I am juiced. All right, chat. Um, imagine, if you will, close your eyes and like, like, like I'm, I'm, I'm beaming information to you. Okay. I want to lower this, but it's obviously it's gonna drag. Oh, and actually, that actually does sort of have the desired effect. Push it again, closer. Yeah. Like I kind, I kind of want this to be vertical. I want this to be vertical. 
I can't see with my eyes closed. Well, no, but like, in, like, imagine that I'm beaming my thoughts to you right now. And then we build the driver's little compartment, and I want to raise like that. See, now this is where things get weird. That looks not okay. This is the, um, this is a prototype. Don't don't laugh, chat. Stop laughing. I can tell that you're laughing. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. like like something like the yeah, 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 what are you doing with my daughter? Ooh, that's, oh wait, what the hell happened here now too? Ew, ew, Chad, I don't like it. It looks weird, it's gross. Ew, uh, redo that. So Chad, I'm trying to do that. So can you, Chad, can we all put our brains together? Can we all, can we splooge some more of our creative juices on each other and try to figure out how to make that work? Well, the SC-76 is also an SPG mobile infantry support. Well, pretty much all Soviet, they were like tank destroyers slash self-propelled artillery. Like if you strap a big enough gun on it, <laughs> then it can both destroy bunkers and tanks. So who cares? Why make, why differentiate? Edit of the views, do the gritty. Like that. Make BT-42, put the guns in the hull. That sounds like the worst idea I've ever heard in my life. And that like the T-26 has. Oh, that. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. I think that looks good. I actually like that. What's happened here? How did this happen? Who did that? Chat, which one of you did that? You fuckers. Remember to like and subscribe? Yeah, remember to like and subscribe so I can pay for dinner. Yeah, see, this is what happens in all my sprocket builds. Uh, you end up with all these, like, all these little points where you're like, what the fuck are these here for? Like, why did, why did this happen? And then like, like, how did this happen? Like, now how do we have this? But I think I know what's causing that. So you should merge with that. And then you should go like back here. I swear to God, if none of this is being mirrored, I'm gonna, I'm gonna murder somebody in chat. If this isn't being mirrored, I'm going to do a draw and I'm gonna murder a random member of chat. Okay, we're good. Okay, so then let's connect this up to the to the blah. We're gonna connect the blah to the blah. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> the government is hitting me with the with the with the coughing ray. A handle here and a handle here. And it's like a double door, your vision slit on the door here, right? Does that am I does that make sense? Cubing makes everything so easy. Try cubing, it will change your sprocket forever. So what is like, it's simple. Select a face, press extrude, delete the walls of the extrusion and leave the top alone. You'll see. <gasps> oh, hit this, you delete these and then leave this. Oh yeah. And then you just have like a thing and you can just build this. You can just make whatever you want with this. Very interesting. What if we really went sicko mode on this? But what does that mean? Chat, what, is, what does it mean? What does it mean for one to go sicko mode? All right, let's look up this PZSFL. Who the fuck are you talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, yeah, the, the, the mini tiger. You know, you know, everyone's favorite little tank. Yeah, this thing's in War Thunder. Yeah, actually, the tarp. I actually, you're right. I do like that. <laughs> what if we gave this thing inner leave suspension? Oh, we totally should. There it is. <laughs> oh, that is so inconvenient for maintenance. It's so weird how like at first this would look very Soviet and now all of a sudden it looks very German. But like, I kind of like that. It's pretty cool. Bring me that space. Should, we, should it be wider? Thinner, wider, thinner, wider. I kind of like the wider. You can make a tarp with um, cube body, cube building. Okay. That's going to be a big thing that we can try that this stream. It needs small road wheels on leaf spring bogies. It's begging for it. But like, that's why we shouldn't do it. You know, it's like uh, edging. It's like, but maybe we shouldn't come. But then is it going to have fenders? Mmm. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Sot and chat, what's up, Sot? Open top? Yes, we're doing an open top. This is my first open top tank I've ever done, which so far it seems pretty easy. All I did was delete the roof and like just get rid of it, right? Like have, I guess, you know, get rid of the sponsons. Uh, uh, all right, that's that's what I meant to say. Should I get rid of the sponsons? And we can clean this up in a second. Should we get rid of the sponsons and then have auto-generated fenders? <gasps> Whoa, that might have done something. That might be good. Ooh, oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Chat, I like that a lot. Let's merge this with that. Merge this with that. Oh, we could, oh, 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 chat, 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 chat. Chat, chat, like chat, what the hell is he doing, chat? Oh, 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 I'm figuring it out. Chat, I'm figuring it out. Look at, look, 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 look. It looks okay, it looks smooth. Like it's like a smooth, it's actually work. Chat, it's working. He's beginning to believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Edda's not mirrored? Yes, it is. 
Oh no, <laughs> it's not mirrored, you're right. Oh, how did I know? How did I not notice that? Oh no. Sprockets. Do we want... Oh yeah, now yeah, now we gotta start making some decisions, chat. Oh wait, oh, uh, what the fuck am I doing, chat? Sprocket, sprocket in the front, clearly. Duh. I still want the engine in the back, too. Like, that's the other thing. I still kind of want it to have a rump, and I kind of want it to have an engine deck still. Shorter, and then... And I hate you. I was in Latin class, and I couldn't translate a word, and I deadass said out loud, Erm, what the shrimp? What the scallop? <laughs> Make up your mind, lol. Fuck up, comrade clumsy. Get out. You know what? Ban that guy. Shoot that guy. Shoot that guy. Engine on the front would make the most sense, but having an ass like that kind of makes it look more interwar. Early war. That's what I mean. Like, obviously, you would imagine, like, yeah, like, wouldn't an engine go right here? Like, this this makes perfect sense for an engine. But, like, I kind of would want to imagine that they, like, they snuck one in the back. So, I'm imagining that, right? So, like, I, I feel like you wouldn't want an engine beneath the gun. Also, by the way, adding the gun really brought this whole thing together. This looks really nice. I'm very pleased with this design so far. I feel like I want to change this all up. But I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. And I wanted, before you all so rudely interrupted me, I wanted... Oh, no, wait. Do I? What am I doing? How, how are we going to make our dreams a reality, chat? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We want that, we want that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 this is coming together, yeah. Do you want an open back or closed? If the SU martyr is an inspiration, I'd expect an open back. That's a fair point. You're saying delete. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. Uh, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Let's keep it closed for now. I think if we want to open it up, we can do that later. That's right, and so this is supposed to have fenders, so yes. Whoa, 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 what happened? Who are you? Who are you and what are you doing? Stop. Get out. Get it, get I just got like a little sp- Get out of here. Get out of here. Get away, you pesky little points. Get out of here. Go away. I still need to change the track width. Like, there's- Dude- chat we're only like 10 percent done designing this tank i hope you guys know <laughs> like there is still so much to do oh now we gotta change and we gotta change the size of the torsion bars and everything oh wow there's a lot to do and it all affects each other and then well, that's not even into performance now we gotta change how big the I, the sprocket might be if we want to change if its acceleration is poor or whatever we might, we might have to change the size of a lot of this stuff yeah wow fuck there's a lot to do could put a small window on the back yeah but like what uh actually mm, we could put a door Oh, we could get something cool. Ooh, I'm, I have a fun idea where we delete like this and then we can build like a door. Like an, we can have an open door. Imagine that's like a door. That could be cool. I like that idea. Oh, wow. There's no room. <laughs> We've made no room for the actual guide horns the, for the center guides to move between the wheels. The wheels are so smushed together. Yeah. Okay. I was about to say. So now the actual freaking guide horns can go between them. You know, that's what I want. I like this a lot. I like this tank, uh, and I like having it so that the pan you can see like the I like being able to see this the whole mount because then you can you can see where it bolts on. And I like this mount. I think this mount makes the most sense. I like that the superstructure looks like a modification of an of an existing base vehicle that wouldn't have a bulge. That's a good point, T-Bag. And you know when the stream ends, I could very well take this vehicle and plunk a turret on it, and I could make something cool with it. The superstructure though, like, do we want to change the superstructure? I need superstructure inspiration. Superstructure inspiration. Maybe more German style, yeah. Panzerjäger 1, flat front, rear angle. That's interesting. Flat front, angled rear. What does that look like? I'm trying to, I'm trying to like, you're, you're beaming your brain, your thoughts into my brain. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see what you're seeing. Oh, um, I don't hate that. Yeah, German, it's very German. And you can still do the doors. Actually, if anything, it would make the doors look more visually interesting. This might really hurt us, but I really do want to see if we can try putting a tarp on this chat. Do we put a tarp on it or do we try to design an interior? Because I've never built an interior either for a tank. And I think we could. I think we could, you know, I think we could take like three hours. <laughs> I think we could be here till 1 a.m. and I could, <laughs> I could bang that out. The driver, the driver, <laughs> the driver gets his own little turret. <laughs> so he's like driving and then he can like reach up with his hands and like use a machine gun. <laughs> like his little head is in here and like there's like a scope on it. He can like peek out. <laughs> that's, that's, no, we're not doing that. MG on top, the driver with the small gun shield. Um, this is, this is a rough draft chat. I know it's not going to look great, but. Nah, but his hatch is here. So that wouldn't make much sense. 
I have to ask, how did you copy those plates when building the MG like three minutes ago? Oh yeah, let's say I want this railing, like a railing here. If you right click on the object and then you hold down left alt and then click on an arrow, you, you make a copy of it. Left alt, drag, you make a copy of it. So then yeah, like if you wanted to take this MG, hold down left alt, there we go. And then put it there and then you can just turn it around and then bam, now you got two MGs. I do think I want doors. Somebody in chat said no doors. I say no doors, just a hole in the back, but give it a little lip of like three centimeter height to separate it from the engine deck. I want doors, man. I think you're stupid. Honestly, I think you're an idiot. I think you're an asshole. Um, and we will have to, yes, I'm gonna have to make this little bit. I actually do want this to be part of the door. So yes, we're gonna do that. All right, let's copy this door and then let's just rotate it on its hinge, right? There you go. So it's like an open door, right? Yes, I'm literally gonna do this because I think I should. This is a detail that no one will ever see, but I will know, so I'm gonna do it. But then it's gonna be, ah oh shit, cause it's mirror. Okay, chat, follow me, right? So if on this door, this bottom lip is curved inwards from the handle, then when you open the door, this would be curved outwards. And how much does it curve by? That's like a, somebody, anybody try to have a protractor? <laughs> what angle is that? That's, I don't know, some angle. We're not, we're definitely not, oh wait, does anybody have any blueprints for gun breaches that I could yoink? So Chad, in case you're not, not quite know what I'm talking about. So obviously you can shape your turret uh, and into whatever you want. Well, what people do is they'll take these turrets and then they'll shape them into all sorts of cool little, little items. So like I downloaded one that was a jerry can. So now like somebody took a turret and shaped it into a jerry can. And then now you have like, now you have a blueprint for a jerry can. And so obviously, so people make all sorts of cool like prefabs for stuff. And so I'm wondering if anyone has made something like this for a gun breach and I could put that behind my cannon. We might, it might be time to do some, uh, oh, we can do the fuel. Yeah, like uh, where does the fuel go? Oh, so where, where would the fuel tanks be on this thing? Oh man. And this is something that you'll have to consider once the geometric internals update drops. Like right now we don't really have to think about this, but like it is an important, Technically speaking, it is important. Where would you put the fuel tanks on this? You'd have to do it like around here. Although there's torsion bars here. So where would you put that? Wow, yeah, this starts, things start to get really complicated once you start sticking stuff in it. <laughs> I guess you could put the fuel tanks up here. Let's have like a filler cap right there. How do you feel about that? Too small for a flywheel though? Okay, well then, all right, all right, all right. Like, yeah, that's good. I actually do, you know, I, I think you're, uh, I think you're good for that. I think that was a good suggestion. All right, let's figure out the gun. I guess that's that's kind of the next big piece. Check 8.35 centimeter AT gun in service since 1924. Are you making fun of me or is that a real thing? Oh yeah, the 8.35 centimeter PL Canon VZ-22 anti-aircraft gun model 22 was a Czech anti-aircraft gun used during World War II. For like an older war, it seems overkill. I mean, yeah, but I do think it's a bit too long. Maybe, yeah, they converted it. They chopped down the barrel a little bit for the anti-tank roll. We still have 147 mil of pen, and that's pretty freaking epic. Like, here's the problem. The only mantlets that have azimuth are all the ugliest ones. Like, this one has azimuth, and, like, this one has azimuth. And I think that just, like, the blank one does, too. Custom mantlet? Oh, God, dude. I don't know how to do that. I literally don't know how to do that. Like, I genuinely, I genuinely don't know how to do that. But I suppose there's no time like the present, isn't there? I do this, and I'm going to load in a spherical mask. So I literally have this. Does that work? Oh yeah, it does. Wow, yeah, that, that actually works. Did you swap the round part to make it rectangular and make it look look like the turret is the breach? Oh, that's a really good idea. We can mold this and we can make it rectangular and turn this into a breach. And I actually do like this idea a lot. Yeah, so how big is the breach? Probably like this big. Now we have to, we have to like do the opposite. Like I spend so much time in Sprocket trying to make circles, but now we have to make this into a square. What does a gun breach look like? It's basically the barrel comes in so if we, let's split this down the middle, do like this, yeah, right? And then we turn this into a square. So that's like the barrel and then this is the breach. Does that make sense? The left side is also flat. So we're gonna grab this and this, we're gonna pull this out. And then we're gonna grab this and this, and pull it out more, there we go. That felt good. Uh, it's a little bit, <laughs> the construction is a little bit, uh, leaves a little to be desired. The walls need to be way thicker, actually. I actually need to like, I need to close it up a bit more. I need to stop mirroring. I don't know why I still have mirroring on. That was, honestly, that's been my biggest, I don't know why. I genuinely don't know why I still had mirroring on there. That looks like a gun breach to me. It actually, it somehow fucking does. 
<laughs> I knew, I knew that. <laughs> And uh, as a sprocket addict, I have to say the way you work couldn't possibly be more convoluted. Yes, I'm very aware. This is how I am in my real life as well. I just, I do things manually and I do things with 10 extra steps. It's a great looking breach. I think it's not bad. Considering this is my first time ever making a gun breach, I think it's not bad at all. It actually, yeah, it actually rotates with the gun. It actually works. So I think that's fair enough. So how do we make it do that without looking really weird? Um, I have a, I, I, I'm having an idea, like to make it look like the gun is on a rail, right? To make it look like that the, the gun traverses along a curved, a curvature, a rail. Yeah, especially if the, uh, if the cannon traverses, it's like really squeezing the gunner up against the side of the, the tank. <laughs> Uh, that could be quite funny. And these will be like the rails that it runs on. Oh, wait, this should be moving. Fuck. This should be moving with the breach. There we are. I think we can build a basic interior. So first of all, we need a floor down just above the torsion bars. Yeah, so we can get away with the floor being like there. And we can build a little firewall. So that's that's the engine compartment right there. I don't know what engine is small enough to fit in there, but we will, I'm sure the checks can find one. All right, we got that going. I think we also, yeah, we need to bring it further down. So yeah, there we go. So that's like underneath. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, these like benches and stuff uh, where people sit. Headlights, put two on the fenders, I think. We're like, this is sick though. Can we just take a step back and appreciate what we've built? This is a sick little vehicle. So much time and effort for such a city, such a tiny little thing. Little table for something, not sure what, but that could be used. So we just put like little boxes in here, you know? There you go. Look at that, that's sick. It actually works too. It works really well. So let's do armor. That's probably the next big thing. Everything that's at an angle, let's give it no, 60 maybe. Cause it, with all these faces we have that are vertical, I mean, that's gotta be 80 millimeters of armor, right? Surely. We can make the lower sides, say 30 maybe to save weight. Then we'll make the top sides 50. Please make the inside thicker. We can definitely do that, yeah. I actually, yeah, I agree, you're right. So that it's not like it's counting. A millimeter thick plate is actually supposed to represent 80 millimeters of armor. This is 50, so it's 50 on all the sides, 30 on the lower sides, and then it's all the angled surfaces are 60, and then everything flat at the front is 80. I think we can start there and see how we feel. All right, ammo stowage. So we've already kind of like established that these bins are ammo. So let's actually put our ammunition in these in these bins. Can't, yeah, we literally can't even fit. The shells theoretically don't fit on in these bins unless we can just move this one and make it again longer, put it in here. So now when you go to firepower, huzzah. So now we've got two big bins that store the shells. That's actually fucking awesome. That's so cool. The, I would like you guys in chat to know, like, this is by far the most detailed tank I have ever... Like, when the stream started, I showed you guys, like, you know, the tanks that I've made. And, like, none of them have had interiors like this, for sure. None of them have had this much excruciating detail put behind them. This is looking like the kind of tank that I see on, like, the subreddit and get, like, jealous of. And be like, oh my god, I can't build tanks like that. And yet here I am. This, I am very, currently very proud of this vehicle. It looks really, really good. How much ammo can we carry? 32. There's a requirement that says plus two points if it holds more than 40 rounds. Can we get one more bin? Can we sneak one more bin in here? There we go, that works. And then now you've got shells. Huzzah! <laughs> oh, that's actually so cool. Oh no. Yeah, this thing is, uh, I see now where we might find a serious problem. More gears. This is a very not okay way to do this, but I'm gonna try this and see how it goes. Oh, we need like suspension dampening. Man, we need to do so much tuning. Ooh, ooh, smooth. Uh, oh yeah, baby. Look at that, 30. Oh, nice. Oh, oh yeah! Fuck yeah! That's impressive. This thing's got torque for days. So the sprocket and everything is in the way. We can't hit the 40. But it's like I, dude, I'd be willing to say like if we could get on the 40, we could probably climb it. 
What an amazing little vehicle this is. I love I love this little thing. Oh wait, actually let's let's change the hold on. I want to make the cupola. Which is like a tiny little dome. Yeah, what if we just did that, like in the corner? <laughs> All right, well, actually, we can have it sit. There we go. We can have it sit here. No one knows what it is. No one knows what it does. It's just there. That's the demon core. The integrated tea kettle. <gasps> tea kettle. <laughs> there you go. Just, just in case nobody knows what this is actually supposed to be. <laughs> That's the tea station. <laughs> so that you know not to put your fingers there. Antifreeze installed. Dry battery charged. Uh, we can do them like here. I'm okay with doing this. This is, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be tedious, but I rotate it a bit more like that. There we go. That's good. That actually really does make it look so much nicer. Because, yeah, it doesn't make it look botched, you know? It doesn't make it look like it's a video game mechanic that we're, like, taking advantage of. It makes it look like, oh, yeah, like, that's actually how thick that plate is. I think it's finally time to do rivets. This whole time, we've done this entire thing the whole time. And we haven't even added rivets, which is which is a design requirement, by the way. Like, this isn't optional, but every little step, you know, it, it just it comes together more and more. That's the pencil mount. If it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing, as Adam Savage would say. Now it's like a little little mount for it. <laughs> that actually does look pretty cool. What, what, what was the name that somebody came up with the, for this? Yeah, the, uh, the Lansky SVBN Lansky... SV-BN39. And then this is where stuff gets fun. We're going to do like a little thing of two, and then we're going to add it, and then we're going to do a little thing of one, and then we're going to rotate it a little bit. Just to add some personality. Like, you know, it's just these little, it's the little things, these little details. Just add little stuff where it's like, oh, wow, like that's cool. Shrink that down, bring it in, and make it look like this holding these track links. We are well below the weight limit, like actually genuinely well below it. We have a crew of four. We have a commander who sits like kind of back here and he would operate the machine gun. We got the uh, driver who sits down in the hull and he probably would definitely have like an escape. Like there probably would be like a little door down here that he could escape through so he wouldn't have to climb out the front. You can have your gunner who sits here on this left bench and the loader who sits behind him. You got all your bins of ammunition in the floor and the, uh, the ammunition is actually, the ammunition layout of the tank is genuinely reflected. Which I think, this is the coolest part to me. Like, to me, this is the coolest part of the whole tank. The fact that I was actually able to give, like, a canonical, you know, canonical, like, an, an in-universe excuse to the ammunition being here. I love the fact that we actually got a functional breach. Like, this is sick. I, I think the only thing left to do is to test it, is to, is to play it. Use it, man. Use it in a real scenario. Oh, the breach. The breach is the coolest thing. The gun breach is legit the coolest fucking thing. Oh. Already off to a good start. Oh, this gun is good. All right, the gun is good. Can we hit the lower glacius? Good. He's down. Man of War is down. Holy shit, we took out the Man of War. Oh my god, that's sick. This is such a cool little tank. You know what's so funny too? We spent so much time on this. Like we have been, this has been, we've been working on this for hours and hours and hours and hours. And it's such a tiny little vehicle. It's such a small little tank. Or if he is, he's missing. He sucks. <laughs> I love, I actually love, it zooms in on the tea kettle. <laughs> if you zoom all the way in, it's just like, eh, have some tea. Oh no, there's a little bit of red on the tea kettle. We gotta change that when we get back. Okay, maybe we should build the tarp now. You guys think we should build the tarp? I think we should build the tarp. How the fuck do I do it? Some guy in chat said that he was gonna teach me how to do it, but I think he went to sleep. <laughs> Sprocket, how to build a tarp. I'm just, let's just see what comes out of it. Oh, oh, I see. That's actually, oh, this is actually sick. So then here we are. So then this is our this is our our object. And then we can delete this, delete this. We can delete this. Okay. So now we got this. I think what they did was they just continuously sort of split their pieces. Now we take this and we're going to form this into a tarp. You got to kind of figure out like what would fabric, like how would fabric behave, you know? And that's just up to interpretation. Uh, there should definitely be sag, you know, like it's got to have some sag to it, but it also, it also, there's got to be sag to it, but it also should look like it's on tension in certain places. I'm just looking to like, just break up. I'm looking to just break up symmetry. Like anything, any edges that look too sharp, too straight. Like, nah, we, we, we don't want that, you know? By the way, I have never heard this 
like song before or this uh, album. Now this appears to be Zelda and Sleep. God damn, I might be adding this to my playlist because this is calming and soothing as fuck, this music right now. Especially for like des tarp designing, this is like perfect music. <laughs> this is the first stream of yours that I've caught. Do you have a set schedule? Yeah, Saturdays. Usually, I, I really do try Saturdays every 5 p.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time. Even if I have to cancel on Saturday and I end up doing it Sunday, like I, it's, a very rare occasion where I like I don't stream at all uh, in a weekend. Like I will usually try to find time for it, no matter what. I'm so proud of this tank chat. Like I don't think I can. Like it's so hard for me to convey. I feel like, but I am so incredibly proud of this design. We've been streaming for six. We've been streaming for almost seven hours. This is gonna break the record for my longest stream. Like almost certainly. What a wholesome. What a good wholesome little stream we've had here tonight. Tonight was for the boys. Tonight was a stream for the boys. And you know, I think we really. I think we all really learned a lot about each other tonight. Let's grab this one. So this is a tarp that he has sent me. Sent to me by Cat. I like this. It's like canvas, you know? Uh, it's like a burlap sack. Yeah, seven hours. Dude, seven and a half hours. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I never thought, like, I just genuinely didn't think I could make tanks to this caliber. This was always, like, I always thought that tanks like this were out of my reach. So, hey, I'm telling you right now. If you don't think you're good at building tanks in Sprocket, if I can do it, anyone can. Like I said, before I built this tank, I built this piece of shit. Look at this. So if you're scared, if you feel like you can't make tanks in Sprocket, you're not good at it, watch this stream back and watch me go from, hey guys, I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know how it's gonna happen. Like, let's just go for it. And watch me step by step, discover this vehicle and build it live on stream. Discover that creative process within yourself and build something awesome. And the music. And we've discovered a banger new song, too. Or a banger new video that has, like, a bunch of music on it, but still. Will you make a video on this live or is this or this competition? That's actually a good point. I don't know if I'll make a video on this uh, stream. I very well could. Don't let the perverted uncles bite and good night. Thank you very much. I won't. Same to you. Good night. Oh, I'll do the anime. Good night. Don't clip this, but good night. Love you. Not like that, though. But, like, you know, good night.